Today I want to take a look at how to export a SharePoint list to CSV using PowerShell PMP. So here we have an article on C Sharp Corner with some sample code of how to connect with PMP online and export a list. The export list function, pretty interesting, it goes through and it makes an output file name with the current timestamp based on today's date. But then it also enumerates the list items and it gets an enumerator of the properties and it does an add member function. This is really the most important part of the, the loop that within looping all of the items, we are looping all of the properties. So essentially items are rows and properties are columns. In the end, we export to a CSV. So I wanted to walk through this and give a quick demo of what that would look like. Go ahead and export the, the function and we have a a doc file for log. It's kind of interesting. That could probably be .log for text. All right, the script executes for just a moment. I did have a login prompt earlier using the web login on the connect statement, which is down here on line 44. And anytime we're using the web login, we get the pop-up window for a prompt. And in the working folder, if I look at any CSV files, we do have one for results CSV with today's date. Go ahead and open that up and we can see our test items. On the SharePoint site, we're gonna see the same list with the same three items. So pretty cool stuff that we can take a SharePoint list, export it to a CSV, do that using PowerShell PMP only, and just a couple of short commands really. Um, which is a great time saver. And the file name is generated based on the timestamp. I really like how they did that with the two string formatting here. That's some, some good work. And then we do have a list of properties we're trying to export. If you want different properties, update line eight with different properties. In my case, I have field names custom one, two, three. So what we're gonna do is update this just to demonstrate for you guys what custom one, custom two, and custom three would look like. All right, and updating the properties, I can run this again. We'll generate another CSV, and this one's gonna pull different fields. So if we do a dir CSV statement, we see that we have another one that's even newer, ending with 741. We can open that up, and now you see all the custom properties. So that's a quick demo of how to export a list to CSV using PowerShell PMP. Thanks for watching.